How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another weapon from the first DLC. Previously the most hated weapon in the game, the Follower Saber. So here is everything that I got. We got the weapon itself, Dark Infused. Again, I freaking love this infusion. I think it might be the best infusion in the game. Makes a lot of weapons really damn good. We got the Llewellyn Shield, all the armor, all the rings, getting 523 AR. Pretty damn good for this freaking weapon, man. They're all the sads are on the left. Previously, the most hated weapon. Now that could probably go to either this weapon or the Karthus Curve Sword. And to be honest, I feel like once this weapon came out, the Karthus Curve Sword kind of fell back. You know, it took a backseat to this weapon. People said, get the fuck out of the way. This thing's way better. I don't necessarily know if it was ever way better, but it's a damn good weapon. And to be honest, it's not one you see very often anymore, which is kind of weird. So it should be a fun one today. It's not our typical, oh, I'm going to use a broken, broken straight sword. Oh, I'm going to use a torch. No, today we have a god weapon. Every once in a while, you got to use one of these. Now, even in this category of the curved swords, I don't know if this is the best weapon in the category with the same infusion. We have, uh, on the other hand, scimitar, which is damn good as well with the same infusion. All right, we have some guy named Sirlock. What is that, a katana? That is indeed a katana. Is that Chaos Blade? Ha ha, 28 damage. You can pretty much say I won this one already. So still pretty damn good damage. Even after all the patches that this weapon went through, it's very rare that you'll see this weapon doing low damage. Still roll catch like crazy. One of the best weapon arts. Good game, Sir Luck. I have saved with you. And now you will follow me. That's a cool edgy line. With my cool edgy helmet. A cool edgy weapon. If you want to pick up ladies, you can use that line. You'll be 69ing her in the alleyway in no time. Standing. Now before this, from the first DLC, I did end up visiting or revisiting the Quickstone Hammer. And I mainly wanted to do the ones that, you know, were improved or worsened after patches. Obviously this one was worsened. The Quakestone Hammer was uh, worse than then improved as well, so... You know, those are two weapons I definitely wanted to revisit here. God, let's run away. You know what? I kind of thought we were going to see a, a parry there. Alright, I need to chill the fuck out with those, dude. Alright, I... Hmm. Maybe it's just a mind game. It's them mind games, dude. Third hit! fail there and get to cut him in the kneecaps it was right around that area would have sliced them bitches right off that timing was almost enough to fucking throw me off completely how did that not hit you and then you go for the parry what a random time to go for a parry i would not have expected it at all there and then i do a little dance just to celebrate very simple people like that are the ones who always parry me the ones where I'm like, okay, the parry should come out here, maybe after I roll a couple times. At least one or two. Fucking nothing. And then out of nowhere, bam. Parry. Take 1200 damage because they have the Hornet Ring. It's happened more times than I care to admit. Alright, Mr. Purple Man. Yennefer. Ow. Ow. Damn it, Yennefer. Yennefer from the Witcher series? Is that who this person is? Oh, he has that mass, so he takes extra damage because of the fucking dark infusion. Let's get close to this. Damn it. As someone who played The Witcher 3 and ended up with Yennefer, I don't want to kill her, man. I ended up with her. Got him. Good game, Yennefer. Not bad. I'd say that was pretty good. I like the commitment to that. Especially naming yourself Yennefer. Although, I, I don't even know if it was a cosplay, to be honest. It might have been just some random person. That might be a foreign person. A foreign guy with the name Yennefer. Man, I got pretty fucking lucky with this video. So, obviously you guys didn't really see a cut. Or, you know what, you probably did. But, um, there's times where my, uh, my recording software just decides randomly, Oh, we're going to turn off your, uh, your audio for your microphone. So it does that. And there's just no way of knowing 
and literally after the last match I had to cut it out, had no fucking clue, was saying that I was still getting audio from the microphone, and I wasn't. And I almost fucking went like 20 minutes obviously, just recording this video with no commentary. So thank god, saw that shit early. Uh oh, now we have a dangerous situation here. Haha! <laughs> Hamburger King! Oh, I see. It's a cosplay of the Burger King. He's gonna use it to flatten people. Okay, I get it. I get it. Good one. Not as good as Yennefer. You know what? Better, actually. Did you know that the Burger King is a real king? He's played by an Ethiopian king, only known as Hamut. Fun fact, you won't learn that on Wikipedia. Because it's not true. Jesus, look at this fucking big boy. Why do I always manage to make everything sound kind of gay? It's not a bad thing, but it seems very, very common in my videos. It's a common theme. Now I'm gonna have to be very fucking careful. This guy, he's got all the poise in the world. Oh God, I thought I was gonna outspace that properly. There's no, okay, there's no fucking way you have stamina, but I pivot. Oh, I still killed him. I like the uh, big exposed head. I don't appreciate it. I expected a parry, and he kind of did it after the after the first hit. Ooh, there's another one. All right, he's got all the poise, or all the hyper armor, I should say, not poise. Gotta be careful for that parry. Except if I do this. Yeah. Delay that bitch a bunch. Which you can do just pretty much forever. Yeah, man. This thing's right trigger attack has such a big delay. <laughs> Look at that shit. He's like, alright, I'm not gonna do it to you. Starts putting it away. Fuck you. And then slams him down. It's a real dick move. Alright, time for some more of that passive playstyle. Everybody hates so goddamn much. Including me. Actually, this might be a little bit harder. Because of the the very long range. This guy's using the Wing Knight Twin Axes and the Wing Knight Halberd. I'm surprised he doesn't also have the little fat angel suit. For the wings. Get it? Because he's an onion. Uh oh. That hit me once, dude. That was pretty good damage. It's a weapon art that's not really used that much. Actually, you know what? He didn't do the weapon or he did the right trigger. I forgot that thing has a stupid spin for the right trigger attack. It's been a while since I've used it. All I remember is that the thumbnail for that video, uh, it has princes in it. So it's one that I enjoy. You see that? I did a right trigger attack in an actual battle. Aha! He was coming right back around. Now that was going to be the weapon or right there. Definitely would have killed me. Good game, Onion Man. Oh, look, he lost some weight. Congratulations, Onion Man. Only a game after, too. Not bad. Still a little fat in the head, though. All right, what do we have now? Is that Valor Hurt? It is indeed. Gary. Gonna have to be careful. Now, the Dark Gem is so damn good against shields. Like, look at how much damage I did to this fucking guy through a shield. Was that a right trigger attack that barely did any damage to me? Uh-oh. That's some lag right there. I was wondering why. Uh, hmm. The ice skating is starting. God damn it! I don't know how to gauge the, gauge that fucking range, just because I don't know if he's teleported yet. On my screen, he's still there, dude. On his screen, he's in the next match already. There we go. Good game, Garrett. I wonder what his name is. Even though I don't use this weapon super often, it's always one that I really enjoy using. It's fun as hell, man. It's really freaking good. Oh, a Crusader versus a Bloodshade. What the fuck? Okay, so he's cheating. I can see that by the stupid hitbox. There we go. Cheats ain't gonna help you anymore. Looks like you turned him off. Kidding, obviously. Good game. Crusader Bob, neither of us were using our uh, required weapons from our uh, covenants. But, you know, what are you gonna do? If you don't tell, I don't tell. I'm gonna tell, actually. I might. That was the ultimate battle of who gives a shit. Kinda Havel. This guy's got some poise on him, huh? But he's going just rapier. He's using this rapier here. Ah! 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 Jesus! 
Jesus! Almost as many right bumpers as me in all these matches. Kind of. Not really. Ah, the fucking parry shield catches me off guard. Okay, Okami. Alright, he thinks I'm gonna go for a parry, which is bad, because I just died. <laughs> he's already gone, dude. How did he disappear so fast? He's quick as fuck. Look, he's nowhere to be found. I don't know where he is. The fuck was he doing? That was a nice battle of the R1 spams. Oh, hey, what do we have here? Oh, shit. The crucifix of the Mad King. Is that Sacred Oath, dude? You know that doesn't do anything, right? That is a very much inflated number. Kind of like the headpiece that gives you extra dark damage. Full of, full of inflation. Inflation. Because it says that it's supposed to give you like 40 AR or something like that. It gives you four extra damage per hit. Not exaggerating the number. That's exactly how much it gives you. Can we roll catch Onion Man? <laughs> God damn it. Fucking luck. Oh, God! Oh, God! That fucking weapon, dude. Got him, though. Oh, my God, he's still alive. Come here, Rayun. and die by that fire. All right, you started that war. Ooh, 11 damage. Uh-oh. Got him. All I needed was one more throwing knife. Holy shit, he did a lot of fucking damage, dude. Two hits from that weapon got him about a thousand damage. The crucifix of the Mad King with that dark blade is just a monster. Hey there. Shit. I always go so fast. I can't make my move. Did she even see the edginess? Look, I have a tip on my hat. She could sit on it. <laughs> hey, 3v3. I'm actually. Holy crap, that is a Havel monster and a half. <laughs> Elementaler. All right, this motherfucker's got a great sword, and he's got full havels there. God damn it, dude. I did not expect him to come from the side and hit me. Is, are you going to do another one? Because that was a lot. Need to get the fuck away from this guy. I thought I was going to outspace him with the two hits. Good one. Get clergy over there. You got him. Oh, we got smacked in the back. Yeah, a lot of damage. God damn, that fucking guy went right after me, didn't he? Oh, that, that actually saved me from the guy behind him. Thank God for that. Dude, he's gonna fuck these teammates up if he keeps... Oh, nice. I underestimated them. Good job, fellas. Time for this onion, man. Rin. Oh, Rin, I saw something I didn't want to see. What is that? Bless gem? Thank God for that backstab. Anybody over here? You're still alive, aren't you? Got him. Have you ever seen a Havel monster get, getting chased this badly? Oh! Came out of nowhere. Oh, he actually killed him. <laughs> Fucking bad luck there. There we are. A couple nice roll catches. That guy hit me and this guy. Almost killed us both right there. What a nice collapse. There you go. What do we get for getting in our way? Let's see if I could go after him. I don't think I'll be able to kill him. No, we got too far away. I got him, though. I got him. That's all I cared about. Traded evenly. Team is fucking shit up, aren't they? Is it a nice to get a solid squad? Oh, they're both dead. It's fine. I'm gonna kill all three of them right now. I'm gonna kill all three of them. I'm telling you. <laughs> if I did angle him, he can't parry me. That's a guarantee. Yeah. 
Yay! Good job. I told you I was gonna kill all three of them. You, you ain't seen shit. shit. And neither did I. As you can see, my eyes are pulled out. That hit me? Man, there's like so many power weapons in this fucking lobby, dude. So many good weapons. This guy's got the great sword. I got the follower saber. I think the worst weapon is the partisan this guy has on the other team. How? There we are. Oh, I pivoted! Holy shit, I got so saved there. Damn. These guys are ruthless. Ruthless as fuck. Come here, Elementaler. Ow, he hit me around back. <laughs> God. He got sandwiched, basically. Come here, clergy. You stole my kill and you trapped me! From way downtown! Oh man, I'm too strong. Fuck that guy up, dude. Yeah! I don't think I killed him. Oh, match over. Damn! 20 kills! I did not expect that. Oh, hey, look, greatest combatant. Only the fucking best. Good game. Oh, man, if I had something like a broken street sword in that lobby, that would not have been fun. That was pretty much 100% meta. Partisan man had to ruin everything. What a loser. Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, a like is very much appreciated. And feel free to leave your suggestions for uh, future builds or weapons you might want to see me use in the videos in the comment section down below. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace, everybody.